Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Welcome back to The Most Beautiful Names, episode 4. Today's episode, inshallah, will be going over one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that will hopefully, uh, through this discussion, be able to free us from some of the misconceptions that we have about Him in a way that can hinder our relationship with Him and our du'as to Him. This name is Al-Quddus. Al-Quddus means the one that is sanctified, the one that is holy. Um, and to translate it into even easier English, um, the one that is free from any conception, any idea that we have about him. What that means is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unlike anything that we can imagine. And this is difficult because educational theorists oftentimes have said that the way that we think about the world is by comparison to other things. You know, if you had one type of food, you might say, oh, this, this kind of reminds me of pizza, or this kind of reminds me of a hamburger, or it tastes like chicken, you know, the famous line. We always think in relative terms. And so with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we imagine what our relationship with Allah is like, sometimes we make the mistake of giving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the personality or the attributes of a person or a type of person that we might have a relationship with here on this earth. For example, when we imagine the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we might imagine the anger that we grew up seeing from, you know, family, friends, or other people in our community. But the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rooted in justice and truth, not in pettiness and ego. And so the anger itself is very different. And when you think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's anger in a way that is free from the human imperfections, then you understand it. And in, in fact, it increases your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His generosity, the same thing. His mercy and generosity and his forgiveness. You know, we think of forgiveness and mercy and generosity in the context of, well, this is like a favor that somebody is doing to somebody else. That if I'm merciful to you, or if I forgive you, or if I'm generous, then I might hold it over this person's head, and later on down the line, I might ask them for a favor. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not use his mercy or his generosity in a transactional way. When we ask from Allah, we are asking from somebody who gives without being able even to repay Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing that we can do to substantiate what he gives to us. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the meaning of Al-Quddus. And the thing that this does, that knowing this name does, the thing that it does to the heart of the believer is that when we open up our hands for dua and when we realize that we are calling upon Al-Quddus, we realize that we are asking somebody, we are asking the one, that there is nobody like Allah, there's nobody like Him. And so we shouldn't limit ourselves we shouldn't limit ourselves by the imaginary human limitations that we conceive of. You know, oh, I don't want to ask Allah this because I don't want him to be upset with me. Or I don't want, you know, you know the, the famous uh, uh, movie or cartoon, God, are you there? Are you listening? Right? That sort of statement even. It, it, it unfortunately, whether it's subconscious or conscious, it puts within us an idea that maybe God's not listening. But we know that Al-Quddus is always listening. Because he's not like human beings, he's not like us, right? And so understanding this gives us a much more free-flowing conversation with Allah. It allows us to open up our hearts. Allah is, not, uh, Allah is not held down by the judgment and the pettiness and the ego and the need of human beings. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has none of that. So when you ask of him, realize that you are asking someone unlike anybody else. And so ask him in a way that you would ask the unique one, Al-Quddus, the holy, the sanctified, the one that is free from any of the human imperfections that we may imagine. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.